Hey, what's up? This is Nicholas from Mixed Time Magazine. Here with John Theodore from Queens of Stone Age. Who were the guys that were like, because you're a big sizes guy, right? I'm a big sizes guy, although I'm playing some smaller drums tonight. No. Yeah, and the reason is because when we made this record, I was using big sizes as soon as I joined Queens. Yeah. And almost immediately it became clear that those that all that extra tone you get yeah. is, is it sort of doesn't really have a place in the Queens mix. Okay. Like uh, the more sort of dead low punch you can get, the better off you are. Because this band is like a motor, you know? Yeah. And everything is piston in the motor and so the more you know, sort of ambiguous tone you have floating around, the more difficult it becomes to make it, you know, punchy. And then when we made this record, I used a twenty two. Okay. And I was like you. I know. I haven't played a twenty two since I was like fifteen. Dude. And I put it up and I hit it and I was like Im like instantly I was like Man, this is I've been trying to get this sound with like a twenty six and then a twenty four. So but it works so great. Were short, right? You were doing like a twenty six fourteen or a twenty six sixteen? Yeah, I always have classic I just love the classic sizes, yeah. you know. Because they just sound that's the sound I love. Yeah. So uh yeah, I put this twenty two up and I was like it just happens immediately. Number one, number two, it's like so much easier to play. It doesn't play any defense on you. Yeah. Like a twenty-six, you really have to you have to think about you know where the <laughs> heads are. It's like hitting a cymbal that's yeah. swinging already. You know. Yeah. So I got a twenty-two for this tour. Okay. And it's changed the whole scene, man. It's like the mix is so much clearer, and it has that real like solid dead punch. You know, it's great. At least decay. But anyway, I do love big sizes. Um, you know, so I, where I love did they Billy Cobham. You know. Yeah. Okay. His Mahavishnu sets, you know, were oh, just yeah. like so monstrous. That five set, I, I got a set of fives drums. Yeah. Clear fives because I loved Billy and Mahavishnu so much. And he had those two twenty sixes and the, yeah. you know, like 16 toms or whatever. Uh, Tony Williams always used big drums, you know. That's how, I, that's how I got into Black Dots was Tony Williams. Yeah. Um, Bonzo, of course. Um, yeah. So, but I do love, I do still love big drums, but you know it has to be the right context you know yeah i'm kind of like at this point i'm old enough and i've been through enough shit that like i don't like i just try and you know do what's best for the situation i'm in you know yeah um it's like a it's really sort of easy on my ego too you know because i'm not like fighting to to like it's not about like me as a persona on drums or like as a player as much as it is about doing what the band needs you know so in a way it's like really liberating because I can just take whatever size and material drums I need and you know if it needs to be dead with duct tape and napkins all over it or yeah. concert toms or you know yeah. big huge drums or whatever so although I am real happy now because the last tour that I did with the Queens was I started I got wood drums which yeah. I, ha I hadn't played wood drums in like 15 years okay so I got some, and they were they were great drums, but I just kind of always felt like I was playing someone else's drums when I sat down. Okay. And so I got some acrylic drums again for this tour, and it's yeah. I feel like I'm daddy's home, you know. So it's a good good feeling. I, and that's the thing, like acrylic is like. I feel like it's part of your sound. If that's if I'm being honest. Yeah. 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 I mean, when I sat down on wood drums, I was like. I mean, I guess they sound good, but there's nothing exciting about this at all. Yeah. And then you put the acrylics up, it's like. Because <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just used to like, I grew up without PA's, you know, yeah, and without like uh, monitor guys and without yeah. sound, you know. So I was just like, and with dudes who really liked to play big loud amps, you know. So I just always got Competing acrylic or stainless just to be loud enough, you know. And then I just really love the sound. It influences my, play, you know, inspires my playing.